Spoken to people only see you when you up, then they notice you. Trying to be a legend, cray lines is quotable. Only the real shall last, and I only know a few people when they feelings always acting emotional. Ain't about a check, then it ain't negotiable. Uh -huh. Gotta show respect to the people that's posting you. Soon to be on posters, posted up like the older dudes. Now we age like fine wine. How we supposed to do? Peep the shade on the timelines. This time post the cool. Hey, oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Good whatever time it is, wherever you are. My name's Brian Hare. I'm here on behalf of Free Salon Education. We are doing our, it's Thursday today, so it's our Thursday live class. I'm here with Matt Beck, as always, running things, making me look good. Yep. Making That's me. it. Yeah. And, I have everything uh, to do with your looks. What's that? I have everything to do with your looks. Well, I mean, I know what you're saying. you make this look good. Yes. I, I, I provide the recipe and, and you provide the meal. Yes. Perfect. Uh, yeah, a little bit of housekeeping before we get going. We got the chat going live, so if you are here watching, please jump in. I like lots of questions. I like knowing where you are. I like seeing all of it, because for me, it just tickles me knowing that there's people from all over watching things in more than just my time zones. We have every state in here today. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. Pick a state. Do we have anyone? Well, no, yeah, that's, that's a lot of states. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I can't even like think of one because there's just too many. Ah, yeah. so welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, today, is there anything you want to go over before I jump in? No, I think we're, we'll go over some stuff later, but yeah, I think we're right. good. Yeah. We'll fill dead air if ever there is any. Yes. Because uh, that's what I'm known for. <laughs> so today I wanted to go over something that way in other classes I get a lot of uh, like minor requests for and I kind of always forget to go and do a class on it. So here we are. Today we got balayage on curls. It's something I do a lot and apparently it's something that everyone does a lot because a lot of people want to know some tips, tricks, hints, all that stuff. So that's what I'm here for. Uh, we've got this absolutely gorgeous mannequin. You're welcome. Here she is. We're giving a little roundabout. We're not going anything crazy today. Honestly, today is not even necessarily a full-on technique. It's just going over some tips and tricks on things that I have seen work well in the salon, things that have worked well for me, things that I just know can maybe help you out a little bit if you're having some struggles or some challenges. So if anything is particularly in your craw, just uh, throw it up in the chat and we'll go over it and answer any questions to the best of our abilities. So there we go. All right, so this mannequin, I believe this mannequin was permed is why her curls look so good because I know some of these mannequins you can get a really nice diffuse out of, but she kind of smelled like perm, so I have, I have a sneaking suspicion that that's why these curls look so amazing. Mm -hmm. So we probably have Danielle to thank for that because I know I didn't do it. Yes. So we'll put the lasagna away for a minute uh, and go over just sort of what to expect from today. This mannequin, she is not permed. She is a labor of love sitting there with a couple of different curling irons because I tried diffusing her and I was like, no, no one's going to learn anything because they're just going to be focused on how terrible she looks. So this will, it'll help because the defined curls will actually help when I go and get in, uh, getting some work done. So I think the reason that there is a necessity for this class is anyone who's worked with hair that has lots of curls, if you've ever tried to do highlights, be they foils, hand painted, whatever, 
and you go to put them on curls and you feel like you put all this work in and it's going to look great nice big pop of color at the end of it and then you do everything and you process and you tone and you wash and you cut and you come out and then when you dry it you feel like your highlights disappear it happens that's what curls do they like to hide all your hard work because you got to understand the fabric that you're working on is not like when you've got straight hair where when the hair falls, you're just going to see what's there. Now you're working with a texture that's going to do all kinds of fun twists and turns and curves and curls and flips and dips. So anything that's just laying on the outside is then going to get manipulated inside that texture of the hair. So keeping that in mind, you're going to want to approach working with curls just a little bit different. It's hair just like anything else. It's just... Needs a little bit of a different, I don't know, approach. Go with. You want to approach curls a little bit. So first and foremost, I like to work with their hair in a curly state. Like when I'm doing a root retouch or anything like that, I will grow in and actually brush out the curls because it just makes it easier to get through everything when you're just doing like a root retouch because you don't want any like little skips or anything where a curl might have been too clumped at the root. But when I'm doing anything hand painted like this, I like to actually see the curls where they lay. Anyone that works with curls knows that they're not always going to sit in the exact same spot, but the curls they come in with, that is obviously some way that they are going to land. So it's a pretty safe bet to just go ahead and work with the curls that they've got. If you have an opportunity to talk to your guests before they come in, I like it when their hair is not done because I don't feel like I want them spending all this time doing their hair before they come in. But it'd be nice if it wasn't like blown out straight or in a tight ponytail or with hat hair or anything like that. If you can just let them you know, know ahead of time that if their hair is worn out and with its curl intact, then you can really get in there and sort of customize it a little bit more for whatever their texture is. Uh, that being said... You're going to want to start also knowing with what the their haircut is going to look like, the shape, how it's going to be worn. So if they come in and it's really, really long and they're going to want to go really, really short, then it's going. you're going to be painting different spots. So you might want to do some pre-cutting if you're going to be wildly changing the shape. Uh, otherwise, we'll just jump right in. Are there any questions before we get going? I just see like a whole bunch of stuff happening in the chat. So the chat is... Okay, wait. So I did want to give a shout out to Austin, who is watching from school. Sweet. Uh, pretty cool. And then... Waiting for everyone to finish their test. That was my my classmate when I was in beauty school. She did everything so quickly, and I hated her because it took me forever to get anything done. So good for you, Austin. I don't hate you. Good for you. Oh, look at that. Maggie, well, here you go. Here we are. Yeah. We aim to please. Yup. Um, I d also, real quick, if I can get this to pop up on the screen. Hey, New York. Image. So we just did a total revamp of the app. Uh, actually been working on it for quite a while um, to give it a new look. And I want to show you guys kind of what that looks like. Um, so totally revamped the whole thing. So when you download it, if you don't have the new version of the app. I was going to say, mine must not be updated. I was just on it this morning, and it did not look like that. So no, it looks totally different. I got to update my phone. Yeah, it's a totally new design. Um, you know, we, we worked on functionality when we first launched the app, and then, but I didn't really love the design of it. So I worked with a designer, and uh, we kind of revamped it. So that just launched. So if you haven't downloaded the new version, uh, go download, I think it's version 2.1 or something uh, like that. So Sweet. That. And then the only other thing is we do have a holiday sale going on on the online store until December 24th. Um, if you want to take 15% off your order on shopfse.com, um, just go type in holiday 21. I like that you cut that off on Christmas Eve. Yeah, after that. Christmas joy lasts up until Christmas Eve. Done. Then the ship has sailed. <laughs> then you're spending Christmas money. Yeah, then you know nobody's buying anything <laughs> after that. Anyways. Love it. All right, cool. So today I'm working with my usual, my Paul Mitchell Sunlights. 
I've noticed uh, one thing that does help with the when you're mixing your balayage for working with curls. I like mine a little bit on the stiff side because if you've got a really it, uh, the the texture the fabric that you're working on, if it's a little bit more coarse or the curls really strong, then if you've got if your lightener is too weak too soft then the curl might kick back in after you've applied the lightener and then it'll start pushing lightener on hair that you didn't mean for it to touch. And then that's when you start to get the weird little spots and stuff that you're not looking for. So I like it a little bit stiffer. Great word, it's just fun to say, stiffer. Um, but not so much that it's gonna also make a mess and not get as much lift. Like it still has some, some pliability to it, as you can see. That that tasted good because it looks like it would taste good. I thought you were gonna bite. It. I I thought I was gonna bite it honestly. Like it looks that good. Um, it's clay lightener. Yes, it's a clay based lightener, made for hand painting, so that it won't swell, so that you get that nice little shell on it as it's processing to keep it from infecting hair around it and blonding places you don't want it. So. Anytime you're working with curls, whether it's, well, let's put it this way. Anytime you need to section with curls, whether it's trying to find a part on somebody or in this case, doing what we're going to be doing and applying highlights, I don't like to go in like we would typically do with straight hair and use your clip or a comb or whatever and just, this is where this line is going to be because it can break curls up. And that's not what we're looking to do here today. Today, I want to highlight these curls as they are. So while I might be looking at sectioning, even like your typical sectioning front to back, the four quadrants, whatever, rather than carving that hard line, I'm actually gonna come in and grab these curls from the end and move them as I need them so that you're moving the whole curl and not breaking anything up. So it's really, it's different if you haven't done it, just sort of getting your mind wrapped around not having super clean lines. It drives people like Matt nuts. This is this this is the world I live in. Like <laughs> clean lines, clean sections. Nah, you just grab some hair and move it. Yeah, right, Matt. Mm -hmm. hey, if you listen closely, you can probably hear him grinding his teeth over I, the microphone. I do think that color is different that way, though. Like oh, a little more organic. Oh, you don't cut like this? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> yes, I do. All right, so I'm just coming around because I again. I'm not looking to make this person like a super blonde. That's a different class. It's a whole different thing. I'm just looking to add some highlights to this hair. So I'm coming in. I'm leaving out a skirt around this whole bottom hairline. That's about one to two curls deep. That will vary depending on how their texture is. But for this, what we're looking at, this makes sense to me. If I, I'm just looking to highlight this hair, I'm going to leave about this much out all the way around work to not break up the curls. I'm being gentle as we move them. We're just going to nice clip that away. I'll just give you a little, this is what I'm talking about. Like I just left, I left her pretty much just one curl deep. In the back here, it's a little bit deeper, but that's okay because that's where you should highlight a little bit less anyway because you want it a little bit darker back there. And then we got her all the way around. One Gorge. curl deep. I like that uh, description. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Look at that. My job is done. I impressed Matt. All right. So I'm going to load up my paddle and get ready to work. As you see, we got great. This is oh, what a great texture. So it's nice. It's thicker. So it's sitting nice and stiff where I put it, but it's still malleable when you work a brush through it. So... It's going to be perfect for something like this. When it comes time to highlight this curl, look at it. Look at what you're working on. See, okay, let's pretend that this is how that curl is going to sit every single time. Where do you want that highlight to be? Because if this is how they came in, there's a good chance that their curl is going to sit like that sometimes because it's sitting that way today. Curls have muscle memory. Wow, we've hit 100 messages already on chat. Ah, oh, look at that. Killing it, guys. Everyone's just chit-chatting. Good job. All righty. 
So I am going to give yourself a nice taut tension there so that when you're working on it, it's not bouncing back too much. Because if you hold it way out here or if you're not holding it firm enough, when you go to apply that highlight, it's going to bounce and you're just, it's not going to give you a good consistency as far as applying the highlight. So I'm going to give myself choke up on that bat, give it a little bit of nice tension, good elevation, and then we're just going to apply like so. I, when working with curls, what keeps it organic and fun and neat, I'm going to be applying heavily to just one side. Sometimes when you see I'll do, like if I'm going for a heavier highlight, I'll do it real hard and then I'll saturate it all the way through and we'll break the highlight apart to make sure that it gets all the way through. But this is something that's going to, like I said, it's going to twist, it's going to spin, it's going to fold into itself. So there's no need to really go that hard. It's going to take one good strong applicated highlight like this and turn it into something a little bit softer. So you can go in and apply a nice, thick frosting like a cupcake. Yeah. And I'm just going to come down through the end. Grab it, and then just make sure that the highlight goes to the end. Not saturating all the way through. And we're just going to let her live there. It's that simple. Yes. Right? And then, be mindful. We left that one curl deep, but not so that you could grab every single curl, because if you grab every single curl, you're really going to be changing the overall appearance of this person's color. So just be mindful of that. If you're looking to do that, well, cool, then I just showed you how to do that. If you're not, then think about that. You know, it's, I've got a good strong highlight there. I'm going to have that around the face. That's going to be nice. So let's maybe come back a couple of curls and find one that's going to live somewhere else with this haircut. She's got a little bit of that bob kind of shag sort of, well, it's not that shaggy. It was a little bit more bobbish. But the curls are going to lift it up and show a lot of the texture within that haircut itself. So I probably am going to want to throw a highlight behind that ear to give a little bit of that lightness framing the neck. So same thing. Find my curl. Best way to figure out how to pick up a curl that you're looking to work with, start at the end. Pick it up from the end and then figure out where the curl is that you're working on. Give yourself the elevation. When you're working with curls and looking, what I like about curls is you automatically get a lived in effect just because that's what curls look like. You know, they're not a super strong structured texture usually. So it's cool because when you're doing your highlights, you can go and some of them, you can drive it all the way up to that scalp to give it a longer highlight. When I'm coming back here, like you noticed that that last one, I didn't go all the way to the root because I wanted a little bit more of that lived in look that's already built in because of the curl. So by adding more of that with the application, you get like a super lived in look. Keeping it semi, uh, what's it, symmetrical. I'm gonna come around, pick a curl from about the same spot on the other side. Apply a similar highlight. Again, sisters, not twins. So don't freak if like on this side, it's a little bit bigger of a curl than it was on the other side. That's okay. It's curls. It's going to look good anyway. The key to this is just making sure that you do enough so that when it looks good anyway, it looks really good. You don't want to lose your highlights. Let's see, that'll be right next to a highlight. So we're just going to let her sit out. She just gets to hang. You're done work for the day, dear. Now this section, this curl is a little big. If I were to highlight this whole thing and you actually look at where this curl lives, it takes up a large portion of the side of this mannequin's head. So that might be a little too much to do all at once. So I'm gonna break that curl up so that it's more of a highlight and less of like a full color shift. And you know what, I'll just clip this out of the way. Cool. 
Do you want me to switch sides, or is this going to work for just this one highlight? No, I think you're good, yeah. All right. You yeah. know what's going on. Yeah, you're fine. I'm not reinventing the wheel. We're just applying a highlight. Yep. You got this. So, again, nice, thick consistency. Make sure, you know, I describe a lot of the time how much product to put on, depending on how much highlight you want. When I'm working with curls, I do go ahead and give them that nice, thick, thick application where you can't see the hair through it because I want to get a good amount of lift since you're doing fewer highlights. Like when you go in and you're highlighting straight hair, you know, you're doing tons and tons everywhere. But with these curls, because of how it's sitting, we're not doing quite as many. So I want them to be a little bit more on the bold, make them pop. That oh, tracks. Megan, that's very nice. Oh, was it? What is it? Oh, uh, thanks. You're so detailed. Well, that's what I'm known for. Yeah. All right. So, a regular person in the salon, I would probably put my Bali wrap around that to let it sit and keep incubated. But it's the holidays and we're blasting through that stuff. So, I'm saving it for uh, the people <laughs> in the chair. <laughs> Getting a lot of Christmas highlights. Yeah. A lot of Hanukkah lights. Taking care of my folks. All right, so then the next step, I'm going to come in similar because we're working with the shape of the haircut. This is not the section you're going to take every single time. Like I said, this is the sectioning for this haircut. If it's a different shape or it goes a different way, then you, you would mirror that. But coming in, I'm now getting myself another row of curls all the way around. See, and just the way it lies, just watch. Watch where it's coming from. Because, like, if you look, this is the most jagged sectioning that you could imagine. But it's what works because it's how this, these curls are, are, uh, are living their lives. It's the same way that we cut curly hair, too. Because you got to kind of l let the curl dictate the sectioning. Yeah. Curly hair is not straight, so, so it obviously needs to be kind of treated. you got to play to your audience. Yeah. This is our audience. Yeah. I love curly hair. One of my favorite things in the salon is teaching people that they have curly hair when they didn't know it. I had another client this week who was going, oh, you just, you made my hair curly last time, and it's just so crazy. I didn't even know I had it. Well, here you go. Now you do. Now we, now we learn how to uh, make it look good. Yeah. Give me that attention. Beanish is ask, asking why curly hair is always frizzy. It's not always frizzy. It frizz is just hairs that have lost their way from the curl. <laughs> Straight hair just lays there. Curly hair wants to do all kinds of fun stuff. So if there's hair that's doing all kinds of fun stuff, it just needs to be it just needs to find a home. Yeah. So calm it down. It, yeah, it's it it belongs in a curl somewhere. So you got to figure out whether it's technique or whether it's product or something. You got to figure out why that hair isn't part of a curl and do what it takes to get it to be a part of the curl. It's Most like, of the time, it's like anything. It's effort of just and knowledge. So like understanding, like what Brian's saying, understanding that part, and then just putting a little extra effort into taking care of your curls. Yeah. Totes. All right. Same thing. Grabbing a curl from back here. But that's actually, it's a good question to bring up because that is hand in hand with people that say all the time, like, oh, well, I don't have curly hair. I have wavy hair. Or mine's not a nice curl. It's like an ugly curl or it's a lazy curl. It's just, it hasn't gone to completion yet. Like a wave is usually just a curl that's been brushed out and looks like a wave. Or an ugly curl is just a curl that hasn't been given, you know, quite as much love as it needs to get that springiness. You know, a lot of people, and it's not people's fault, they just haven't been shown yet. Right. You know, it's amazing how many people with curly hair are well into their life and have never been shown what to do with it. So, you know, oh, well, I get out of the shower and I brush it and I put some gel in it and I get this ugly curl. Well, I wouldn't do it things that you just said with your curly hair so that's when it's fun to show them no this is what 
what you should do when you get out of the shower. This is how you should apply product. This is how you should dry it. And then that's how you'll start to get the volume. That's how you'll start to let your curl do its thing because it's, it's really impressive. If you've, if you've got someone who doesn't like their curls... Get them in the chair and talk them into letting you diffuse it, and they'll go nuts. And then they'll be with you forever because you just showed them how beautiful their hair is naturally. Good and point, Leanne. What's that? Go with the natural fall there for the technique. That you're oh, doing. totally, yeah. Um, Rose is saying, I would like to see you do curly hair. He did a class on styling curly hair. Um. We have tons of curly hair classes. There's a whole sounds like someone needs the app on the app. So, um, if you guys get a chance, go download the app. Go to freesaloneducation.com and it'll send you to the app store. Uh, click whatever phone you have, and then it'll take you to where you download it. Um, but couldn't have tons, made it easier. Tons of curly hair classes on the app, including this one. Yeah. Ah. Who'd have thunk? All right, coming through. So you'll notice, like we had, like I was saying, the curls, little random hairs reaching out and grabbing highlight as I'm working because we're working on a different texture with different kinds of sectioning. Good thing about balayage, I just had a little bit right there. You just use a little finger, just pinch it, wipe it, and then it's gone. It's not going to lift. It's not going to do anything, and the highlight stays intact. You're good to go. Drop it. That's how we do it. That's how we work. <laughs> <laughs> so once you get up to this, what this section would be, like the stuff that's going to lay on the outside, the stuff that you're going to see the most, this is when attacking your curl from how you see it is most important. So these curls around the face, this is not, this was from another class. Don't look at that. Um, but these curls, like, she's got, like, a nice little fringe going. So I want to make sure that, especially around the face, those highlights pop from what you're looking at. So you're going to want to take these curls and really do what you have to do to manipulate yourself so that you're hitting that forward-facing part of the hair. So what I mean by that is this cute little curl, we're looking at that, Okay, so I see, yeah, I see this looks, if I want to hit this part of that curl so that whatever happens down here, I know that this is going to be forward-facing highlight. So I'm take it. I'm not going to come back like you would with some hair. You know, it, it might get a little weird. You might want to put a little bolly wrap underneath so that you're not getting anything on the face, but... Unlike a lot of the other times, I'm actually going to come forward with this highlight, not back. So I'm just going to come right down, right in her eyes. Get that nice, strong highlight. And what's cool, if you have a hard time getting that like soft diffuse up at the root, you don't have to worry about that with curls. You can go a little bit stronger. A little harder in there because the curl itself will diffuse for you. So have at it with your heavy hands. Curls will help make your work look even better than you meant it to. It's FSE now, everybody. Look the app? Yeah. Here's another image. Look at Brian on the front there. Good thing I don't have a hang up about my forehead. <laughs> I was just having a conversation about foreheads the other night. Is you were why I'm thinking about that. Yeah, because I have a huge forehead, and now that I'm almost forty, I think about it all the time. And I'm like, am I going bald? And then I just look at pictures of me when I was twenty, and it's like, no, I've just always had a giant forehead. Is like getting close to your forties right now because like we're about the same age, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like feeling it more than I've ever. Oh and yeah, not like not in. I understand if I took more care of my body, I would like feel. Oh no, no, no. There's just things that happen. Mean, like mentally. Yeah. Like, well, but not even just mentally. I like all of the sudden in the last couple of weeks, am someone who, when I get out of bed, I have to do it slowly. <laughs> Cause like it, it takes everything like a couple seconds to realize that I needed to, to move. Yeah. I was like, well, that's, that's a new development. 
Yeah, for like three days last week, I got out of bed and like I couldn't walk on my feet. <laughs> Mine is, I'm like, mine's my hips. I feel like a giant dog with dysplasia. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, hold on. Let's get the Tin Man oil out so we can get out of the bedroom. And give me like thirty minutes, and I'm good. But after, but there, yeah, that. Let's just way. say, if Matt and I wake up in the middle of the night, there's a house fire. This show's done. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making it out. Yeah, done. <laughs> <laughs> oh man at least we look good that's what filters are for and we still got a year right well i have six months oh are you that all right <laughs> go ahead finish that sentence well no because i'll be 39 i'll be 40 in april okay so we're a year apart yeah okay i thought I thought we were within the same like you just turned 40 and then i turned 40 oh no i i blazed the path okay. for you to walk Hey, casually I appreciate, appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> all right it's my goal to make sure i'm the youngest one here i mean it's smart <laughs> oh you're man. the youngest one here and christina youngest make youngest. sure she's not the oldest yeah exactly you guys are smart like yeah. that brilliant good. business people <laughs> feels good so oh. look at where these curls are lying what i like about this is you oh, this is what i love about balayage you know what this is going to look like now. Like, you can see where those highlights are going to be. You can see if there's anywhere that you need to fill a gap. Like, ugh. it's not necessarily bricklaying, but it's sort of that idea of just, like, decorating a Christmas tree. When you're putting stuff up, you want to make sure that there's no area where there's just nothing. And with balayage, you can look at it and make sure that you're dealing with no areas of nothing. Yes, it's a curl. Yes, it's going to flip around, but you get what I'm saying. Just go with it. Don't argue with me. This is a one-way medium. So, Megan, it's a pivot point mannequin. Um, but And we did sell them on our website a long time ago. But the, the problem with pivot point is mannequins are super expensive, even to purchase them as a distributor. And then with shipping on top of it, it literally it was costing us like $10 every time we sold one. So... It just didn't make sense. But if you go to Pivot Point, I think it's Pivot Pivot Dash Point, I think, dot com, or just Google Pivot Point, um, you'll see all their mannequins. They're not cheap, but they are, in my opinion, the best. They really are. Because I got to tell you, I remember in beauty school, those were, I don't, I don't know what who made them. They were supposed to be good mannequins, and you'd still, every now and then, you'd get one that whatever they did chemically when they treated it, like, you couldn't get through the knots. No matter what you did, it was just a whole dreadlock, yeah. and it was a nightmare. Or you'd go to color it, and no matter what you used, like, it wouldn't lift, it wouldn't bust, it was a nightmare. I love working on these mannequins, and any of the colored ones. Like, yeah. the blonde ones, I'll color it darker, and then it's perfect for doing a blonde highlight. Like, these browns, they lift nice. And I promote them like crazy, and I have for seven years, and they barely give me a discount for them, so... It, they're not, there's no, like, it's expensive to make them because they're all, first off, they do it in the process that makes sure that the people that are actually doing, because I think they're made in China, but there's different levels of production in China. Like some places are terrible and they treat human beings like terrible. Um, and then there's other places that have quality control and all that. And Pivot Point, I think it's SA 5000 or something like that is the, the certification that to make sure that you know it's they're being made um in a good factory and they're all put in every single hair is put in by hand i didn't know that yeah i want to know if it comes from dead people mm, i don't know that like i want to know but i don't want to know yeah like where does it come from it's a lot of hair it is there is no shortage of mannequins there's a whole global supply chain shortage not of mannequins no, there's a shortage of mannequins. That's actually because I, I reached out to them. I was like, guys, I really help you out a lot. Can you please send me some free mannequins? Because I don't want to pay $4,000 every time I order mannequins. And they said, we would love to, but there's a huge shortage right now and we can't. So, so maybe it's not dead people because there's no shortage of those. <laughs> Jeez. We're in a global pandemic. <laughs> don't listen to him. Oh, are you not? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, I guess the two of mine are pretty good. 
I just got out of beauty school and ours were okay, but they would not lighten. Yeah, I've had those yeah. before. The only thing that I've ever discovered you can't do on mannequins, and maybe I just never have had the right one, but I'm pretty sure you can't do it. I've never been able to get a high lift to work on a mannequin. Like, yeah, lightener is fine, but like, oh, this high lift is going to go so many levels. Not on a mannequin. Yeah. And this mannequin, I believe, is the Erica, and it's, um, Erica has brown hair, and She's not anymore. Oh yeah, she's good because you lighten her, and it's a pretty like too realistic lift. I would say, uh, yeah. Like I'll give get you that. Kind of that yellowy orange kind of lift, so, unless you really push it. So you know, it's it's close. It's as close as you're gonna get, I think, to like agreed trying to lighten like something. real life, yeah. real scenario kind of stuff. Uh, all right. So we were just chit chatting and having fun. I love this. That's why I like this forum. It's a good time. Uh, so we went through and just gave some nice highlights where they needed to be, making sure that there was no areas where there was just too too much gap. So the lightener that I use for this application today is Paul Mitchell's Skylights because it's a great consistency. It's super easy to work with. And you get a great, uh, great lift. It says seven levels. Sure. I don't know how to count, so I don't know what that's about. But it's super easy to work with, super great consistency, and a great lift. So it's my go-to in the salon, and I'm a big fan. Does the hair – will you – can we do that last one? Yep. Uh, yes. Normally in a salon, I would have something in between the sections because whatever touches bleach is getting lightened. So the reason that I – champion this lightener is because it's going to work really well whatever consistency you choose to put it to so if you have someone where you like you think that using a wetter consistency will work better cool uh today i used just a slightly drier consistency because the curls are gonna i can make it look like my body um because i can i wanted to make sure that as the curl curls the lightener is still going to stay where I put it, not travel. So that's why I went with a little bit drier consistency. So using uh, whatever your preferred in between something is. Some people like mesh, foil, cotton. I like Bali wrap from Sunlights just because of a lot of reasons. Um, I also, it's funny, I just got a couple of tattoos on my ankle the other day. And I had to put pants on because it's cold outside. And I didn't want the pants touching the fresh tattoo. And I know that when you leave a tattoo parlor, they'll use like saran wrap to cover it. And I was like, wait, let me use Bali wrap because that doesn't have the sticky chemical on it that saran wrap does. And so I'm getting less chemicals on my fresh tattoo. It was fantastic. So I just sat there and wrapped it around. I would say I have some at home. It was great. So nice. there's another use for it. There you go. You're welcome. Uh, all right. So you process that, she's great, you do your cut, you do your everything. While we're just on the subject of curls and talking about curls, we do have another class where I go way more into it, but it did come up, so I just want to show, like, real quick how I approach diffusing my curly-headed guests so that they, uh, you know, just get the, so they get to see how nice their curls can be. Plus, actually, I think the last time I did a diffuse was when we got that nasty comment that accidentally slipped through. So now if you ever want to, like, splice together just a, just a diffuse two-minute video without smack talking, we'll have that. Yeah. I also just discovered that this fits this way, and I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. From now on, that's how we process mannequins. <laughs> um. Where is that question? What do you got? Does Thank clay you. lightener lift about the scene? Um, clay lightener, there's... Uh, trying to think. There's a class that I have where it's a balayage, maybe like a balayage 101 class where I go into what to expect with your saturation because the answer to that question is it depends on the saturation. Um and, you know, it's 
it's going to lift differently because it's not being incubated in oil. It's not, it's not a very simple yes or no answer to that. Uh, the shortest version that I can give you is you, it is possible. There is a scenario where you can get balayage to lift in a similar time frame as a foil, but you got to do everything right. It might involve a thicker saturation and maybe putting under some kind of heating source like the sun um, or a hooded dryer, whatever. Um, it is possible. It's not a definite, it is possible. I think is probably the best answer. Sweet. So, this might be my favorite comment ever because... I'm not a hairdresser. I just love watching your videos. Help me relax and escape from the ugly world. Aw. Because the world is not ugly. Debbie. Ugly is in the uh, algorithm, unfortunately. Yeah, if it bleeds, it leads. Yeah. So, but there's a lot of good things, and we appreciate everybody watching and yeah. always subscribing and just hanging out with us, having a good time. Um, whether you're a hairdresser or not, I think it's good for people to, to like you're saying, relax and just kind of not learn, but learn what's possible. Right. And, I think it's, it's good then, to learn to expect more. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, we do this because we love our profession. Yeah. And not everybody out there is doing this because it's what they love. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, but if that's the kind of experience that you're looking for you need to know that there are people that really love this. Yeah. And it's so funny. I, like, in a similar vein of understanding that, I just, like, when I first started getting tattooed, I went to this person just because she was recommended. I knew nothing about the industry itself. And so I go and I start seeing her, and she, I liked what she gave me, and so I just kept going back to her. But then I started watching those, like, tattoo competition shows was how I discovered that there's so many people out there that aren't good at this. I was like, oh, wow, I, I got lucky. Like, <laughs> this is actually an industry where passion and artistry really take you to the next level. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I'm all for people like stumbling upon us that aren't even hairdressers just to know that if you don't have someone that cares this much about you, that there are those people out there yeah, and that you need to find them. And you don't have to come all the way to new hope. No, I mean, that's look at all the people that just signed in from all over the world watching this. Yeah. All of those people care as much as we do about being able to provide the best that they can for the people that they're doing it on. Yeah, there are tons and tons of hairdressers all over the world that love hair like we do. Which is why we started doing this. Um, love his personality. There you go, Brad. Ah. Um, starting hairdressing at 58. Oh, that's love awesome. It. Good for you. Um, it's a good time. I also do want to talk. So I have a client um, who, I'm not going to tell this story. Basically, the person, they watch my videos a lot. And it came from a person watching my videos. That's why I don't Which know. I guess is why I can't talk shit because they're going to watch it. <laughs> exactly. Gotcha. So never mind. I can't tell that story. But Fair. Just don't. This is what I want to say, though. Because there is another level of watching our videos where you go to the hairdresser and then you think you know. And that's where it oh, gets yeah. a little bit weird because, like we said, we love this so much and we study it so much that you can't just watch a few videos and then kind of know. But it can give you an inspiration to, to find somebody that really loves doing hair. And then when you find that person, you won't have to have, you won't be nervous or anything. But that would be the inspiration part of it. Not to actually teach because like I'm still trying to get better at what I do every day. And I don't think I'll ever get to the level that I want because every day I'm like learning more things and trying to get better. But like you're not going to learn that from watching even a hundred YouTube videos. Like it's just not going to happen. Right. So just, just so to, to the yeah. people that are watching this, that are hairdressers, yeah. you can handle it the way that I do. When someone comes in and says, well, I saw this video and this is how Brian did it. You can say, well, I appreciate that. I don't need you to be concerned with how I do it. I just need to know what you want me to do. Yeah. Cause I do get that. People, Cause I think it's cool too. Like when people do give like if somebody sent me a video of somebody doing something, I appreciate it because I look at it like 
this totally lets me into the into their brain and what they're thinking they want. But then I'm still going to go about it in the best way that I know possible. Right. You know? Like, my my Christmas gift, my continuing Christmas gift from my mother is that now she's gotten a hairdresser. So now that, that relief is on my plate. <laughs> and for the longest time, even though I wasn't doing it, she's got this hairdresser and she likes him. He does a great job. But she would, like, ask me, so how do I, what do I say for this? What, how do I tell him to do this? And finally I just said, Ma, I don't know. Like, I, I cut hair the way I cut hair. Just sit down and let him do what he's going to do. Just listen to him. He's got your hair in his hands. Everyone does this differently. Just let him do it. Just and so now it's <laughs> this. Yeah. She just told me she just got it cut, and she sits down, and she's talking to him, and he goes, what did Brian tell you? And she said, to let you do what you're going to do. <laughs> so... We got this. And just so everyone is filled in, Brian's mom lives very far away. From oh, yeah. It's not like she lives in town and yeah. I just won't do it. <laughs> yeah. But now she lets me go on vacation and not bring scissors. Yeah. Like my Christmas present is when I go yeah. see her. Her hair's already done. There you go. All right. So this is the after. I did a few more highlights on her, obviously, as you can see. But it was a similar idea where I, the curls that I was presented with I did in larger sections, and then when she diffused, the curls came out a little bit smaller than how they were when I applied it. So the way that that translates here is you've got a lot of smaller highlights. I didn't go in and paint these teeny tiny little lines. That would take a zillion years. That's the fun of this texture is it's going to look a little different every single time, but it's always going to, it's always going to work. Like I put that effort in. So now I've got these highlights that run through these curls and they're all over. You know, I did a, a little less underneath because that was the look that I wanted. I made sure that when I got to the outside, I was a little bit more heavy handed because that's how hair is going to look naturally. So it just gives that supernatural, organic, lived in kind of look that in my opinion, my opinion <laughs> just looks best on curls. Like, I I love how natural you can make hair look on curly hair while still doing, you know, something as, as grandiose as a full highlight and hand painting and all that stuff. And it still looks like, oh, she just woke up like this. She just walked off the beach like this. Uh, so when it comes to teaching them how to diffuse, a couple of tips that I just like to give them for getting getting started. As you move on, you can teach them more tips, more tricks, but you want to keep it simple at first, especially if this is someone that's never worn their hair curly or has never shown how to wear it curly. A couple of things that I just like to teach them, I do side, side, forward. Keep it very simple. If they can just remember side, side, forward, that's going to be how you dry it with the towel, how you apply product, and how you're going to dry it with the diffuser. So what I mean by that, when they're done with their shower, and it's all like wet and stuck to their head, I will tell them, grab onto something like a soap dish or a bar if you have bars in the shower, whatever. Grab it, shake your head a little bit, try to get your hair to come off of your scalp. Because when people say, oh, like my hair just kind of hangs and it only curls at the ends. It doesn't only curl at the ends. That's something that people think because no one has explained to them that the curl wants to curl from the root but you got to get it off the scalp in order for it to curl at the root. Otherwise, it's just going to stay stuck and flat to the head and then only curl where it hangs off of the head. So by having them shake it out before they even get out of the shower, it's going to set them up for success by starting to allow that curl to start at the root, which is where they're going to get a nice volume, and it's where they're going to actually have their haircut show the shape in the final style. Otherwise, whatever they put in is just going to go and then curl at the end. So have them shake it out, and then that's when you begin with the side, side, forward. By that, I mean I have them hang their head all the way to the right. Hold on, I'll just hold it. All the way to the right, and then with the towel over their hand, give themselves some scrunches. The reason they're doing that is because you want to approach the hair hanging off the head. So by hanging to the right, they want to be focusing on all of the hair that's on that side of their head, because you've now taken gravity out of the situation, head shape out of the situation, and you can get that hair to curl from the root. So side, 
side, same thing over here, and then I'll have them flip over as far as they can go and then do the same here. That will allow them to scrunch everything that's up on the top of their head and make it just a little bit easier to get that lifted up off of the scalp. As far as the back of the head, it's super easy for us to have them lean back and style their hair this way when they're in the chair, but this isn't so easy for them to do at home, which is why I don't really focus on this being one of the movements for them. I tell them they can tackle the back of the head when they're off on the side. When they're off on the side, they can just sort of reach around to the back of their head and get the scrunching in that way. Once that's done with the towel over the hand to get the initial moisture out, I tell them the exact same thing for applying the product, side, side, forward. And that's so that you can get that definition that you want all the way up to the root. And then same thing with the diffuser, side, hit with the diffuser, get that nice volume, take gravity out of the situation, other side, exact same thing, and then flip forward to get those curls up on the crown of the head. Cool. And there you have it. And now it's 11. It is. Yes. Look at that. On the nose-ish. Well, All right, guys. So that was super fun. Thank everyone for coming on and chatting with each other, with me, with Matt, with whoever. Uh, thank you for questions and kind remarks and all that stuff. Be sure to go to freesaloneducation.com to download the app so that you can check out the cool new layout that I need to go get myself, actually. Yes. And uh, find me on Instagram. It's hairstyle, H-A-I-R-E style. That's my last name. Get it? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, and for me, I think that's it. What do you got, Matt? Uh, the only the last thing is um, I have a deal on the cutting system, so I know this wasn't a cutting class, but if you guys want to learn everything that I have in my brain about hair cutting, it's in the digital hair cutting system that we have online. I'm going to play the video as we roll out of here, but um, I appreciate all of you guys watching. Go check it out. Instead of $49.99, it's $29.99. What? Until uh, December 24th, I believe. So, um, so go pick it up. Super cheap, and it's a whole cutting system. Better than anything, hopefully, that you've, you've watched. Put a lot of time into it, and hopefully it'll be... Uh, you guys will like it. I think you'll like it. Heck yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to roll the video for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, get the app. You'll see all the upcoming classes so you can hang out with us. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Stay safe. Bye. There's a few things that you have to understand about haircutting before you can really jump into doing haircuts. These are all things that I'm going to teach you guys in the next eight haircuts. Truly understanding the why behind what you're doing in haircutting can make haircutting so much more fun and make you way more successful behind the chair.